और इस वीडियो को या इस वीडियो के थ्रू जो मैं दिखाना चाहता था या जो मैं बताना चाहता था कि फिटनेस का लाइफस्टाइल या फिटनेस सिर्फ उनके लिए नहीं है जो इसको हमेशा कर रहे हैं या उनकी अर्निंग किसी से है या इट्स अ इट्स अ लाइवलीहुड फॉर देम ये एक्टर्स एक्ट्रेसेस एंटरप्रेन्योर्स फिटनेस एंथुसियास्ट सबके लिए है सो एक्ट्रेस एक एंगल है जो यूजुअली मैं कवर नहीं कर पाता हूं मैटर जंगली में क्योंकि अक्सर मेरा उनसे इंटरेक्शन कम ही रहता है बट वो जो चांस मिला सोहानी से मैंने अप्रोच किया शी लाइक द आइडिया उन्होंने मेरे से बात करी एंड आई होप यू गाइस आल्सो लाइक द होल कॉन्वर्सेशन सो लेट्स गो एंड मीट सोहानी गाइस हाय सोहानी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग टू मैटर जंगली uh it's an honor to have you here and to understand your journey and your perspective of fitness because i have not uh honestly captured lot of actors and actresses having their journeys and their perspective of fitness i'm very excited and very very keen to understand how your uh, fitness comes into picture when you have a such tight schedules all around the year so uh um, mm-hmm. so- yeah, well i'm excited to be here at at match fit junkie and it's great to see your dedication towards fitness maybe can motivate me as well <laughs> <laughs> sure thank you so much um sohani the so first thing i wanted to understand is like how did sohani get into fitness and how long back you you realized that you know you need to work out you need to keep up the fit and etc etc et uh you know what himanshu was never really into fitness um because as a teenager as a young adult i was really really skinny okay. um <laughs> I just couldn't put on weight. I remember I would struggle to put on weight. Yeah, I would want yeah. to put on weight, be able to um and I I felt like I could get away with it. So mm-hmm. I, sometimes people feel the need to exercise because they want to look a certain way, but I sort of just yeah. felt like okay, whatever it is right now it's fine. It's like I was modeling at that time, so I didn't have a huge issue being skinny was okay at that at that time. Right. Um just the wrong way to think i you know when you're younger you don't understand fitness as much you don't un- understand the impact of exercise and metabolism and all of that right um so it was only until later um that i i joined the gym um for the first time and i couldn't even lift the what is it the, like a 5k 510 kg like a like the lowest weight yeah, on one of the yeah. machines i struggled much with it and the trainer told me like oh do you realize you're really weak <laughs> and uh, i didn't like that i thought i should be able to you know lift my own suitcases i should be strong um so i think that was a transforming moment for me where i realized it's not about the way you look it's about mm-hmm. your strength and the way you feel right. and since then i have been I wouldn't say that I'm obsessed with fitness. I wish I was. Um I want to be really real on on this um chat <laughs> yeah. we're having. Yeah. And not pretend that I'm like someone who crazily into fitness. It's something that's a part of my life and it's something that that's work in progress. Like I need to improve on it constantly okay. as well. So uh um, coming to your uh journey like you said you were not able to lift much during the start of your journey but uh mm. then you have developed and i've seen you do uh, doing uh, the mixed martial arts or something like that uh, when i met you for the first time in mumbai so uh, how did that came suddenly from a gymming to a martial art kind of fitness routine mm right it was a very natural progression because i get bored of doing the same thing every day um that's reflected in the career <laughs> choices i've taken first okay. i am i'm pretty adventurous um so the same thing happened with fitness where I was going to the gym every day. I was trying different things. I could try spinning. Um mm-hmm. <clears throat> I really enjoy circuits, functional training, um normal weights, weight training and all of that. But at the same time I felt really enclosed working inside a building. I I wanted okay. to be outside. Um so that's how MMA started. And um I've always been an outdoor person. I actually come from a sort of countryside setup. I okay. come from like a cool. town so there's a lot cool. of nature we always used to go cycling I used to go for runs trekking mm-hmm. um lots of outdoor activities so for me it was it was natural to 
you know expand into lots of different things right. as well not to keep with the same same routine every day cool so uh, your lifestyle made it very easy for you to understand other aspects of fitness and you were able to grasp them and slowly learn them as well in terms of mma cycling going out having some fun mm-hmm. outfits, right yeah and i think um be being in front of the camera also you realize how important your posture is um and i'm not going to get onto this size of your body and all of that because i think all of that is secondary but it's it's about how you're looking and i mean how you if you're looking your best self and how your posture is and all of that comes into play right um so it it was very important to to develop a fitness routine cool so from fitness to mental health i would like to shift your gear towards mental health what are your views about mental health and how important it is for people to understand mentally strong hona kitna zaruri hai yeah this is a really big topic and it's something i feel very strongly about um i've been through a journey mentally as well um i've always been someone who's pushed myself out outside of my boundaries and outside of the comfort zone Right. and sometimes it comes with the price you have to pay because it puts too much pressure on yourself and um that's why i think mental health and physical health come hand in hand and they should be complementary so after you work out or while sorry while you're working out you should feel a sense of happiness calm releasing those endorphins um it it should come with that positive impact if after you're working out you you feel horrible you feel drained you feel angry you feel cranky mm. then i think it's it's not for me personally it it doesn't serve the purpose okay i know people work out for different reasons you get bodybuilders you, you know this competitive reasons for working out and that's great but for me personally and i hope people can relate to this um working out is more to feel good um it's more to sort of respect your body and right. make sure it's there for the long run that it can it yeah. can get through all the things we want to do in life right. we we should take care of our bodies uh, the same mentally i feel with me i like to meditate and right. i like to be consistent with that um okay. even if it is 5 minutes a day some i i don't I think creating small tasks for me and doing it consistently is a lot easier than creating ginormous tasks and then just quitting after 4 days. Um right. so what I've been doing during the lockdown is pranayam. Mm-hmm. Um and even just like I said I sometimes I just do it 5 minutes a day because I've woken up really late and I, I'm not in the mood I don't have time but I make sure I do the basic breathing exercises and that's been really helpful both in terms of health uh and in terms of <laughs> de-stressing from what's uh-huh. been happening in the right now um so yeah mental health um i mean i can't speak from a <laughs> therapist point of view i mean in terms right. of counseling and all that that's completely different but just in terms of taking care of yourself and creating that time and space where you can reflect take a moment to yourself i think that's very important right so you just spoke about uh, pranayam and uh, other breathing exercises which you do so mm-hmm. mostly go into the meditation part and you also spoke about a little bit of meditation so i just want to understand do you do yoga as well or uh, you just involve breathing exercises in your routine just to calm yourself and de- de-stress yourself mm-hmm. yeah i do i do yoga as well i love yoga it's one of my favorite um things to do ever <laughs> okay. um cool. and uh, i've been doing it from a young age because my grandmother was a pranayam and yoga teacher and my dad also trained wow. uh, so, uh, from a young age we've been inculcating it into our lifestyle and daily routine um mm. right now i'm actually doing a yoga challenge so it's a 30 day yoga challenge i don't know if if anyone's interested but it's it's um i think it's just 20 minutes a day okay. and yeah but uh yeah it's it's something that i really enjoy for flexibility for just re- releasing that stress i get a lot of stress in my shoulders because right now i've been sitting a lot and working okay. on the desk i've been out and about like well, none of us have um so i feel like it 
compresses everything and makes us <laughs> like just crouch in. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yoga is great for that. Cool. So, uh, so honey, I would like to come out of the little bit of the fitness zone and go into your acting career, which you were here for. Sure, yeah. So, uh, what were the projects you have done, and can you elaborate a little bit about them? Because if I start speaking, it will go on long. It will okay. go too long. So, I would like you to uh, talk a little bit about your uh, upcoming projects and what you have already done before. Sure. Um, so. Starting from the start, I uh, got into pageants somehow. So I was Miss India UK, Miss India Europe, Miss India Worldwide. Went went on to all of those pageants, um, and then got into films. I was always into theatre. It's something that I always was passionate about. Um, so I acted in a, in a couple of films. I was in Jab Hai Mid Sejal, in um, uh, some TV shows. So there's Pyar Pehli Baar. Uh, okay. Some short films and uh, sorry, my mind is blank right now. But <laughs> there've been various projects, and an upcoming project is uh, this film called Aparichit, which okay. will be coming out directly on TV um, on the 12th of June. Um, so that's with uh, this brilliant actor called Shishir Sharma, and it's it's a short film, but it's something that's it's very close to my heart, um, and. Yeah, act, acting has been a really, <laughs> like you said at the start, that it your lifestyle is is so hectic when you get into yeah. a profession like this. Um, you're constantly. I think when you have a routine, it's easier to manage. But with me, I had no routine because sometimes I'd go on, I'd have a call time at four a.m. in the morning. Sometimes right. I'd right. be doing a night shoot, working right. all night. Um, so. It was just hard to have a balanced life, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, does your diet, uh, as we all know, diet plays a huge role. And as you just said, that your routine is very unpredictable. Sometimes you are working night. Sometimes you are. Mm-hmm. So, how do you manage your diet? How do you maintain those calorie intakes just to fit us? Mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> never been one to count calories um, but and I've never been one to be really strict with my diet either unfortunately uh, I, I am a free-flowing person so it, I I have my moments where I, I love my dessert I love having some pizza and, and all of that but generally I try to stay healthy and um, I've tried intermittent fasting and that's that's something I really believe um, has helped me gain more energy gain mental clarity um, have a more disciplined lifestyle so intermittent fasting with 16 to 8 rule is something that I really do feel worked for me it may not work for everyone um, you must be knowing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. is it something you practice as well, or? Um, no, I'm not an intermittent fasting guy. Yeah. You know, need my yeah. seven, six to seven meals a day and break, break down into every two hours. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. how I go with it. I go my day. But yes, intermittent mm-hmm. fasting can help a lot of people if it's the uh, mm-hmm. suiting those particular diets. If they, you are able to mold around it, that's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and in terms of the the general diet, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I I feel like the Indian Indian meal, the Indian cuisine, yeah. is probably best for vegetarians. You get right. the full nutritional values that you need. Um, in fact, in India, I used to eat when I was in India. I would eat um, Indian food every day, normal dal, roti, sabji, and, and everything. Mm. But ever since I moved back. The UK, it's like we don't have Indian food every day. There's a higher dependency on quick meals, takeouts, okay. um, more based on bread and pastas and stuff like that. Mm. And I really feel like my nutritional values have gone down um, compared to just having that simple Indian food that I used to have every day. Right. So, yeah, I, I love having rice, I love having rotis, I love having sabjis and having and, a simple meal. That really works for me. 
and having a good metabolic rate at your age, I think it's helping you out as well because you don't need to worry about too much of calorie intake or too much of uh, calorie burn. Yes, but I I do realize this is something <laughs> that I can take for granted at this age, but later on, it, it's After, something yeah. that we all have to come to terms with and yeah. maybe start becoming a bit more disciplined. Cool. So, um, which you will prefer, India or London? Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 it's really difficult. I. Um, before I used to lo- just love India, so I grew up in, in the UK in London and okay. I was always just obsessed with India. Okay. Like I could never appreciate the UK, I was like what kind of a country is this? <laughs> um, and my parents used to be so confused about me, I'm like what's wrong with her? Because my I have a brother and he wasn't obsessed with India the way I was. Okay. Um, for, for some reason, it was just India. Nice. Yeah, when I was 18, I moved to India um, and started my journey there. And mm-hmm. it's been a couple of years that, that I lived in India and I, I love it. But now I see it in a more balanced way. I see now I see the UK also has some pluses before I could not see that. Okay. I just, just could not <laughs> enjoy the country. And I, I see that India also has, you know, some issues as well so I see both of them in a very balanced way but still my heart is connected to India for sure right. like my so first love is India <laughs> perfect so you're planning any trip into India anytime soon as well as soon as things get back to normal eh, I hope I'll be back cool, cool. yeah that's nice like, well I don't know let's see what the new normal is yeah everything's <laughs> uncertain yeah, I, I believe that this will go till the year end. Uh, there will be lockdowns, yeah. opens and lockdowns and opens and this structure, this cycle will go on for quite a while now. Exactly, exactly. So, no one can tell right now. Yeah. So, Ani, I, that was such a lovely information from you, coming from you. Thank you so much for coming and joining with us and sharing your views about your perspective about fitness because it's in knowledge for me as I just as I told you I never uh, encountered an actor mm. or an actress before uh, to understand their lifestyle and how they fit in their fitness uh, perspectives and food and workouts so it was really uh, motivational and knowledgeable for me uh, thank you so okay. much for the channel. yeah I just want to add in one thing sorry to um, sure 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 please, please 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 um, and oh, this no. might be uh, this might be a little counterintuitive from what we're usually told um, from all these motivational um, speakers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I always feel like listening to your inner voice and your your body on how you're feeling. So there were times where I would force myself to work out, but I wouldn't feel good. Um, so what I would do is I would skip that. I would skip that workout and I would maybe read a book, I would spend time with myself and the next day I'd be so excited and motivated to work out. So this is something which I haven't really, people don't usually say, they usually say like work out every day, like force yourself, do it. Mm -hmm. Um, But this is a different school of thought I believe is is to really listen to that inner voice. Don't be lazy, but if you're not feeling it, don't force yourself. And that's something that I've followed and it's kept me happy. Um, So that's just one tip I wanted to put out there. If anyone can relate with that. Cool. So that that be the guru mantra from Sohani that how to yeah. keep yourself motivated to work out daily, day in, day out. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, Sohani, uh, coming to the last, uh, you have done. Uh, you have been into acting. You have been into uh, fitness. But what else you love to do besides these two things? Because I know these two only, which I can see on your Instagram. Uh, other than fitness, other than um, uh, acting, what else do you love to do? Mm, um, I love to read. I love to okay. write as well. Uh, I love being in nature. So uh, I don't know if I can show you. I can actually. So this is opposite where I am right now. Oh wow, um, that's really beautiful. Yeah, so just being surrounded with greenery gives me a lot of energy. Um, 
yeah, I love, I love. Uh, wow, this is one of those questions <laughs> where, where you're like, "Any hobbies? Kya hai? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Any <laughs> hobbies? Kya hai? I like pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, any any other final tips for all our viewers? that listen to your inner voice anything else you would like to share with our viewers i think i just like to emphasize on doing one thing a day really consistently and the minimum amount like don't force don't, like i know everyone right now is going through a really tough time mentally and everyone's facing so many we're all going through the same thing actually and yeah. we shouldn't burden ourselves with these big goals like let's get a bikini body by the, by the end of the lockdown if you want to do that that's great if you're genuinely motivated to do that then do it um but otherwise just small changes to make sure you're taking care of yourself like having lemon like i have lemon water um first thing in the morning warm right. water with a bit right. of lemon and, um and creating these small easy changes in in your routine which which is which are good for you and your body and your mind and they make you feel good um so if you can find a few of these things to add in your day it's not going to mean extra it's not going to be unachievable very easy little things it will make a big difference so for me it's like having lemon water in the morning um eating some form of fruit and veg- vegetable throughout the day um doing 5 minutes of pranayama and meditation uh if i can't work out if i'm i'm not not feeling a heavy workout then maybe just some squats some star jumps some press ups and doing that for 10 minutes as a quick circuit that also gets me up and running and it's yeah. fine just do 5 10 minutes but be consistent with whatever you're doing so consistency in anything which you do with help you out in the longer run right yes and, and like i said even if it's 1 minute or 5 minutes it it doesn't matter just do that one thing every day and your body will get used to it and you'll be on track you'll be happy <laughs> yeah so the motive is to be happy then rather than trying to do 10 different things and be unsatisfied with everything mm-hmm. cool yeah yeah It's give yourself those wins throughout the day that you know you, you did something feel good about that and keep yourself satisfied especially during this period i feel right cool uh thank you so much swani for sharing such lovely information with us and tips and tricks for all our viewers so it was a pleasure oh, thank you thank you for having me here it, it was fun connecting connecting like this Nice. Uh, Swani, before I let you go, I just want to know any view, any suggestions for Madfit Junkie you have, you can let us know. We would love to, you know, ensure them that they are incorporated in our protein. I I'd love to see um maybe some recommendations during the lockdown, like what sort of things you recommend uh, from your expertise. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, maybe some some tips um that you suggest, especially right now like I'm saying people just wanting to do the minimum um right. the minimum to feel good and and to get themselves going. So that mm-hmm. would be really useful to me on the channel. I love the interviews you're doing, all the different stories um about yeah. about people. They're from all walks of life is which is what I really like. Um you're focusing on real people, athletes, there's a good mix out there so i really love that yeah thank you so much hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like our video and if you want to promote yourself and motivate others you can connect with us to connect you can find all the details in the description please like share and subscribe to my video to subscribe to my channel click here and to watch our previous videos you can click here thank you so much